Hey there everyone, Hatesh here back again with another video and today also we are talking about web scraping. I realized a lot of you are liking what we are doing about this regex and these uh, python based scrapping and stuff. I didn't realize at the first that people will like it but thank you so much for liking this video series and I am really totally happy with that. Okay and the second point is a very very kind of a thank you and really good support all of the students who have actually posted the answer of the last question that I asked or the small assignment that I gave you. This shows that how dedicated you are and I checked out all of the comments as well. So moving further, now we are going to move on to another web scraping part which is interesting and interests a lot of people. And a lot of people think that finding all the links on a web page is certainly easy. It is not, it is not. It is not like you can write one scraper for all the website is going to work for that. No, it doesn't really happen with that because all the websites have different structure and you need to understand that structure and according to that you write a scraper. Yes, there can be a little bit generalized scraper for most of the website but eventually you have to customize this. So we're going to look forward some of the caveat points about how to web scrape all the links from the website and again if you're watching it for the first time make sure you watch the previous two videos as well because otherwise this is not going to make much sense. So let's fire up our python editor here python 3 luckily I'm on a mac and python 3 is can be used directly like that. Okay so previously we have done some of the stuff we're going to do again that here and I'm going to give you a couple of assignments here as well. So first of all uh, just like always we are going to import request and just on to a side note, if you are using like urllib or urllib2, any other maybe libraries to make a request, that's fine too, no problem at all. So we're going to import request and we're going to import bs4 for beautiful soup. And uh, if I bring back uh, the documentation of beautiful soup, where that is, there we go. So it's all about the documentation and reading this stuff and one of the things that we are going to be looking for is going to be this find all and you can see there is a find all and you can just work for this. Uh, there is you can find all the a tags. There we go. We can make a soup and can make all a tags and we can also pass on a couple of string values that if it is true or not. So we'll be using something like this to find all the links on the website and then I'll give you a simple assignment for this. I hope you are ready for that. So let's just go that and let me explain you what we are going to do. First of all, we're going to make a request. Oops. We are going to make a request and uh, there we go. Request.get. And I'm going to be making a request for, uh, let's just say I'll use my website. HTTPS column slash slash learn code. Oops, I can write that correct for sure. Learn code online dot in. And uh, I think that's it. And if I check res.txt text uh, it should give me all the things and uh, there we go I have got everything here which is looking like okay there you go my YouTube channel link I hope you are watching it there and make sure to subscribe there as well so we have made our request and the next thing we usually do is kind of uh, uh, making it a soup we have been doing this on all last two videos as well so shouldn't be a big deal so let's make a soup out of that request again right now we are into the type of request we want to convert that into the type of beautiful soup. So what we're going to do is we have been doing this for long. So bs4 dot beautiful soup, and it takes two parameter. You know that already from the last videos. Uh, the first one is res dot text, uh, the entire web page, and the second is how you want to like beautify it or kind of a parse that or tree structure that whatever you call that. I'm going to be using LXML. You can use HTML parser as well. No big deal. There we go. And now we have an object here. Okay. So now we are be using this guy here, uh, which is soup.findall to make sure that we get all the links extracted here. Now I love this LXML approach or this uh, DOM based approach because it is far more easier as well as less error prone compared to the other approaches so that's why I use this and even if you'll work quite a lot on this you'll realize that this is actually a little bit better as compared to the others so we'll be using that and just right now we're going to write a simple loop here so we're going to say for let's just call this as link for link in soup because we have a soup dot and uh, now we want to use that so it's really simple we're going to say find underscore all we just read that in the documentation and what you want to find the first mention thing is the tag so that is going to be a tag 
Now then after you can mention a string value that it should be there or not. And in this case, I'm gonna make sure that href is equals to true because there can be other a tags as well, which don't have href values and stuff like that. So that's what we are looking for. But there are a couple of issues here as well. So let's talk about them as well. And that is gonna be your assignment. So we're gonna simply say print and uh, what we want to print is link and we are gonna be interested on the links which are having href values. So that's why I'm making an href here. And uh, there we go, I hope I close that properly. So there we go. And I forgot to wrap this around in the codes. Okay, so there we go, now it's looking good. So this is it, and it gives, okay. Why are you having a problem? Okay, oh, my bad. I am into not JavaScript, I am into Python, so T of the true needs to be in capitalized. So there we go, and then I can have this, and there we go. So all the links are being displayed here. Rest of the things are same, I just forgot to write the true in the uh, caps there. T should be in the caps, no big deal. Okay, so now we have got all the links properly, and uh, we have got a couple of issues here which you are going to solve for me. The first issue is you have to use a simple if and else clause here, and if the pound sign is being detected, you will be just writing a pass there, completely ignore that thing, okay? So that's the first step that you'll be doing, first check. The second check is if uh, the website or the link is starting from the dot slash, uh, you have to replace it instead of the dot slash, just replace it with https colon slash slash uh, learn code online dot in slash and then concatenate it uh, with this faq.php and all of these stuff. So um, this is what the basic stuff. So this is kind of a simple customization you can do. You already know from my courses if and else condition and uh, how to detect some links or slicing the links. So it should not be really tough for you. Uh, you can do that pretty easily. So this is what I'm, but obviously it is working pretty rock solid good, not a big deal here. Uh, yes, there are a couple of issues that uh, still needs to be cleared up in order to properly extract all these links, like for example, JavaScript, but we won't go into much of the depth. Uh, we are somehow able to extract all the links. Now, how much you want this application to like uh, be big, it all depends on how you code it, because it is just working for like one page. If you have to scrape like 1500 pages or maybe 1000 pages, this script is not at all good. We have to write codes so that it can work onto multiple threads or maybe things like that. But that's a different story. We won't be going, this is a beginner friendly stuff we are talking here. So again, your two assignment, don't forget to submit them. I read all of your comments. You can submit that on my Facebook as well. If you are really, really uh, exclusively dedicated learner, you will definitely be submitting that to me. It's not about you're doing it or not, it's about how much dedication you are showing uh, towards learning the things. So step number one, ignore all the hashes and step number two, detect this uh, dot slash in front of any result and replace it with that string. So simple slicing and concatenating of the string. So I hope you are enjoying these series. These are pretty awesome. And once you show that uh, we love that, I really love to make them more. Let me know in the comment section how you are enjoying them as well and do hit the like. And yes, of course, haven't you yet subscribed my channel? Why so? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I'll surely catch you up in the next video.